Today I'm going to show you how to do this rather effect in Blender. And if you want to learn more, I will leave you an exclusive tutorial on my Patreon to learn how to do this complex rather all done with Geometry Node, where you will learn how to delete points with the radar and how to build all the elements and how to customize it. So let's see. Okay, first of all, let's delete everything and let's create a cycle. So let's go to Mesh, Mesh Cycle. Open this panel and first of all, let's fill this mesh. So here, select Angle. Now, let's add more vertices. So let's increase this number until it's perfectly round. And now we can click outside and let's go to Material View. We can select this view and let's open a new tab. Let's go to Shade Editor and let's create a new material. Here we can define the color we want. Let's select, for example, this one. And really important, to make the radar effect, we need to work with blend modes in alpha. So go here in options and select in blend mode alpha blend. With this, we can have transparency in our object. As you can see it here, if I decrease this, the object is more transparent. Okay, so now what we have to do is to add something here in alpha to say, can you do a part transparent, another part opaque? So to do this, I'm going to press N to hide this panel. We are going to use a gradient texture. And we need to connect color in alpha. This is applying a gradient to this texture. So here is black, is zero, and here is one. And we have a gradient. Now, if you want to move this gradient, what we have to do is to apply after this two nodes. I recommend you to have node wrangle activated in add-ons and press Ctrl T. So instantly we have this node. Now, thanks to this mapping, we can push this gradient. As you can see. So using a gradient in alpha, we are saying that when it's zero, it's invisible, and when it's one, visible. So if we push this, we are defining what is the black and the white and the middle of the transition. Perfect. However, we don't want this type of gradient. We want a radial gradient. So here we need to select radial. And now if we try to move this, you will notice that something is working but not working. Why? Because we need to define the center for the gradient. So really important that here you connect object. When we connect object to vector, we are saying use the origin for the gradient that we are going to apply. So now, thanks to this gradient, radial, we have a gradient that goes, remember, from zero, black, to one, full color. In this case, we are using this color, but if you select white, it's just this gradient. Okay, so now, how we animate this? To animate this, what we have to do only to rotate this axis, the z-axis. So if you rotate this, we can animate this gradient. Perfect. Now, how we make this shorter? Because I don't want all this. We want something like that, for example. So to do this, what we have to do is to add after this a color ramp. And now remember, this is the start here, and this is the end, the part more visible. So if we want to make this shorter, we need to push the black. And if we push the black, we are saying that, remember, everything that is less than zero, so all this part, delete it. So with this, we can control the range of the radar. However, maybe you want to invert this, because if you want to animate this in the direction of the clock, then we need to flip this color. So just click here and say flip color. And now you have the gradient here. And here you can say I want more or I want less. For example, I'm going to leave it like that. And now remember to animate this, we only have to go here and move this. Now. To make a full cycle, remember it's 360. So to animate one cycle is this number. 
So let's open this, create a single keyframe. Let's go to the end. And now think how many turns do you want? For example, I want 360 multiplied by 4. And insert single keyframe. Really important. Select this and select here the keyframes. You can select this and now press T and select linear. With this, we are making that all the time go to the same velocity. So now, if I press spacebar, I have this animation. And this radar is doing four cycles. And here will be perfectly looped. So this is how to do a radar. And remember, if you want to make it shorter or longer, here. Now this one, this one. And if you want to make it glow, let's go to Render View. And let's decrease this. Now we cannot see the radar. What you have to do is to go to Emission and increase this. And here you can change the color. And let's go to Render and select Bloom. So now we have this animation. And remember, if you want to learn how to do this more complex radar, you have the full tutorial on my Patreon. I will leave you the link in the description and in the comments, so you can learn more knowledge how to do this radar animation with Geometry Node. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.